Excuse me, you're, you're my seat. Am I? Actually, yes, you are. You one of those weirdo compulsives who come to the same restaurant, sit in the same chair, and eat the same food every day? Uh, no, no, no. I was sitting right there three minutes ago, and then I went outside to get myself a paper. I ordered a juice, and look, I made a crawling snake with a straw wrapper. You can finish it if you think you're up to the job. I'm sorry. You want me to move? Not anymore. So what's up? I don't have time to talk. But you haven't heard what I'm going to say. See, now we've already talked more than I wanted to. <laughs> Well, I didn't give you my seat, you know. I think that gets me one question. Listen, diner guy. Sean. Sean, flattered, really. Very often, I am happy to meet new people, but today, right here, right now, I can't talk. I understand. Oh, my gosh, you're a cop. I'm not a cop. The paper, the vantage point, the layout, of course. You've got offensive when a scary guy walked in. You're totally a cop. Okay, Sean, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Name it. Duck. Please! I'm sorry, I still don't understand why that means you need to see the entire case file. Oh, no, oh, no, no, Julia, no. we don't need to see the whole thing. No. No, just the cover page, one bit. or two others here or there. Definitely the witness list. Well, you gotta see that. And the chief's okay with this? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I don't think so. No? No. I like the other girl better. Not me. Hey, since we're here, we should do some digging. Maybe. Maybe? Technically, 2340 only applies in federal cases. What are you doing in here? I thought we could share info. What are we looking at? Get the hell out of my car! Shouldn't you be wondering how I slid in and lounged for two minutes without you noticing? You're new and pretty, so it's okay. I have a strong sense about a stress line, and I know the link is in the phone records. I don't know why you would think I would do something like this for you. Some have said it's the hair. Really? Look how cute she is in the fuchsia. We'll let you guys get back to your investigating. Bye, Juliet. Ooh, crime scene photos. Love crime scene photos. May I help you? Detective O'Hara. A truly pleasant surprise. Somebody needs a hot oil massage. Pardon? Stress? Tough day at the office? Who are you kidding? You'll probably never get those reports typed. Who is this? Sean. Spencer. Great. You were already thinking about me. You know you should roll your head both directions if you really want that to work. Okay, where are you? On the phone. Where are you? You know damn well where I am. How can you see me? Do you really want to know? I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answer to. Then never ask a boyfriend if he thinks your sister's hot. I don't have a sister. How about a boyfriend? Where are you? Consider me hired. You're not hired. I can't pay you. If it turns out there's something to it, I'll make sure you get put on the case. That's all I can do. Juliet, I'm, I'm quite sure we can work out some kind of services exchange. You see, I like to do a little sketching myself, and sometimes I need a model. Huh. Is that inappropriate? Now, I need a whole lot of an explanation from you, because although you do make me laugh occasionally, impersonating an officer Impersonating is... an officer, please. I told that woman I was in accounts payable. Sean, I... come clean. I would like to solve this case for Lasseter. He'll never allow it. That's why he can't know I'm involved. I figure I can guide him through this thing, right? Build him up, get him back on his feet again. You're serious? Yeah. Why? I just feel like he really needs this. I mean, look at him. Okay, I'm in. You what? What do you got? Look at us. A couple kids on a proper date, huh? You got some goosebumps? Sean, this isn't a date, it's work. You're absolutely right, but hey, you still got six minutes to ask me anything you want. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to know? What are you dying to know about Sean Spencer, the man? Man. Oddly enough, I don't think I have anything I'm dying to know. Okay, Jules, don't lie. Because lying is unbecoming. I'll go first. You, me, Burgess Meredith, Hume Cronin, Nipsey Russell, deserted island. Who are you going to sleep with? Wait, so it's you or a bunch of dead guys? Fair. I'll give you uh, Scatman Crothers. Dead. Flip Wilson. Also dead. Donald Pleasant. None of the above. None of the above. Jules, are you kidding me? You've got... Cube. 
You're gonna miss me, aren't you? A little bit. Have fun on your next date. But I want you to think about that, okay? Like if that really happened. Bye, Sean. This is a speed dating first. <laughs> you and you are a 100% match from your personality questionnaires. <laughs> I smell love. Come on, come on. <laughs> I need a drink. I gotta pee. Detective O'Hara. Sean, what are you doing here? Bowling at a high level. By yourself on a Saturday night? I'm in a league. Semi-pro. I could have gone pro, but you know what? I made a choice. I like to give 14, 15 hours of practice in a week. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I don't want to interrupt your practicing. Yeah, yeah, I should get back. I'm, I'm really not here to mess around. Oh, my God. I am so rude. Uh, Kyle. Sean, Sean, Kyle. No, it's my bowling hand. There you go. Uh, Sean works for the police department. He's a psychic. Oh, cool. You're a psychic. Nice. Can you, uh, can you tell me anything about my future? Oh, Kyle, please. It's not really how it works. Though I am, I am getting something. It's, uh, it's hazy, but I'm sensing that you're gonna face a lot of, uh, hmm, projection. Work-wise? Or... No, no. Not work-wise. Not work-wise. You know what? I'm gonna go. You kids get back to doing your thing. You know, she bowled and you bowled. And she bowled and you bowled. And you got the tight tuck and it's sweet and it's perfect. See you, Jules. Yeah, well, excuse me. Sorry, may I cut in? It's my parole officer. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Sure. I'm sorry. Sorry. Where did you... I thought you, I thought you were on a date. I was. It's over. Over? Mm -hmm. Over like, like he laid one on you on the front porch and you got little butterflies over? Or you, you pretended like you had a headache and, and called it quits early off? Not that it's any of your business, but he can't bowl and that's a deal breaker. I see. Hmm. But look, the only reason I sat down is because I wanted to clear one thing up. I don't take any stock in those profile matching things we did the other night. Jules, I was just messing around. I, I copied your card over your shoulder, like verbatim. Well, you thought maybe I, I, I sew my own pajamas. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Well, good because um, I don't want there to be any weirdness between us, and it seems like we're going to be working together a lot all the time. You know. So, nice job on the case, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'll see you at work. That's how we do yeah. it. Work style. Yeah. I'll see you at work. See ya. Sean, I can't just give you a case because Gus is out of town this weekend and you're lonely. Fine. Maybe together we can figure out how I can be less lonely. Wait, I'm getting something. Baby oil. The raven crows only at midnight. Dusk is for the rooster's cackle. What? Jules, that's your cue to cackle. Sean, I don't have a cackle in my repertoire. Well, you call for this secret meeting. We should use code speak in case people listen. It's not secret, just away from prying eyes. So what do you propose? Should we rent one of those pedal boats that looks like a swan? We could. Or you could just take these. Excuse us, may we help you? Hey, guys. Damn, girl. I need a psychic to read the sorority house. Can you come by tonight? Can we wear pajamas? No. Even better. And remember, psychic intuition's not gonna help this guy evidence well. Oh, one more thing. Roosters don't cackle. <laughs> I beg your pardon. They cackle doodle doo. <laughs>